So YouTube, welcome back to the channel. And if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to like this video, guys. So today we're talking about manifestation, manifesting those dreams and visualizing it. So I'm gonna be giving you guys 15 ways that you can manifest those dreams and your desires. Um, I was recently this morning watching my girl Yanni Rose and she was talking about how she manifested her dream car. And it got me to thinking, what are some more cool ways we can manifest our dreams of our heart's desire? I mean, we were put here to be creators. We were put here to be, create, not creators, in control a little bit of where we're trying to go, listening to the signs, the directions of where we are trying to go and getting there. It's so important to map out your dreams and your visions. I am one of those type of people, I speak heavily on, I don't believe in being quiet on your dreams. I believe in putting out great energy. I believe in speaking life into your goals. I am not one of those individuals. I feel like sometimes you have to speak it. You have to talk to people in order to get to the next level. Staying quiet sometimes doesn't always help you out. And it's not even to be that you're not trying to be humble about where you're going. Like I recently, the other day, was talking about how jobs, how jobs in the federal government, they normally don't call you if you don't get the job. You'll normally get like an email via USA Jobs and that's it. But I had an employer call me and say, Stephanie, you are doing a great job. I mean, you did really well, like you did so great that I wanted you to know that you, I wanted you to not get an email, but to hear from my mouth of how good you did and to not think, not down yourself because you think you may have been terrible in the interview. And she said some other things as well. And I could have took, took that in the wrong way. I could have taken it like, well, why she called me just to tell me those things? No, you have to take the good in things. I believe some doors are not meant for me and they're not meant for you. Doesn't mean that you did bad, it just means it did not align with where God is trying to send you. It did not manifest with our direction. You know, sometimes we dream, but we don't dream big enough as where God or maybe your friend, your sisters and them try to hold you at. You know, like maybe, we, sometimes we limit our abilities is more so what I'm trying to say. And that was just a clear sign like Steph, you have to stop putting a limit, a limitation on where you're trying to go because she mentioned that you you have so too much skill set to be what you apply for is pretty much what she told me and I took that as a blessing because she didn't have to tell me those things and she also said like apply if you see anything else but nonetheless if it doesn't align it isn't meant for you I just wanted to share that before I begin because sometimes it's hard. I know it's hard as hell out here when you have a college degree and you really want a job and you're not in your field but you're trying to use that degree to get to the next level because you're manifesting, but it is what it is. You know, I say that all the time, y'all. It is what it is and what it's gonna be. So it's basically manifesting, short and simple, is putting the action into your, where you are trying to go, what you are seeing your future, what you are trying to do in your future. Like I manifested a house, I told you guys this. Got my house, right? I made a plan to get my house. So I developed some ways that you guys out there can manifest those dreams and maybe these tips can help you. I didn't mean to rant, but I really wanted to share that with you guys because sometimes we get so caught up on the now, but we're not being patient in where we're trying to go. So let's go. So the first tip that I have for you guys is adopt an attitude of gratitude. I just said that. I could have easily taken a negative swing on what happened to me, but I did not. I took it with a stride. I took it for what it was and I said, at the end of the day, I'm grateful I had the opportunity to interview. You know, it's hard out here, y'all. It's hard out here to get interviews, you know, for some people. So I take that as a blessing. This will turn this will attract what is meant for you and what isn't meant for you. Because at the end of the day, the world is a reflection of you. So if you're giving off great energy, there are more things to come your way. Second tip, 
Visualize living your dreams with feeling. So what does that mean, guys? What does that mean? What does that mean? So basically, spend about five minutes a day visualizing yourself living in your dream as much as as much detail as possible. Because think about it: where you are, where are you trying to go, what are you doing? Um, basically, focus on the sensations and the feelings of that where you're trying to go. Because at the end of the day, you have to make it as real as possible. And this can even be writing it down. It doesn't even have to be speaking it out loud. You can just write it down on your computer or your notepad or your iPhone. And trust me, because I believe in writing things down. Because when you go back and look at it. You can let's say, dang, I accomplished this. Okay, we're not here, but we got a few more steps to go before we get there. It's all about visualization. Third thing, create a new identity. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Basically, imagine for a moment, imagine for a moment that you already have, have what you are dreaming about. So you want a new car, right? Okay, dream about that new car sitting in your lot. Maybe you want a new house. Visualize yourself in that home. How are you gonna decorate it? Where do you see yourself sleeping at? You know, maybe have children. What are their rooms gonna look like? You have to basically create a clear picture. I wish someone stopped beeping. <laughs> of you, 2.0. You have to take it up a notch. You have to set high standards for where you are trying to go. Because like I said previously, we will, we will limit our full capabilities because I do this. I do this a lot sometimes and I have to really tell myself like, and it's not even trying to be that you're not humble, but sometimes you have to tell yourself, girl, you are a boss ass bitch. You know, you got your head on your head on right. You got, you know, and it's not even trying to down no one. It's like not saying like, oh, because they don't have degrees and blah, blah, blah. But the things that you have already accomplished, you have to basically put it out there like, man, what? I got a certification with blah 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 I got this I got that and it's not even to like I said it's not even to that you're not being humble but it's looking at yourself in the full vision 2.0 like girl stop tripping on yourself number four clean up your clutter cleaning up your clutter will basically get you in a great spirit want to know why because when you have things on the floor it causes chaos and it's another great thing too because it makes it feel like you're holding on to old things and that's not what you want, right? You want to get rid of all the stuff that means no good for you that is not going into your future. Five, prepare, physically prepare for your dreams to arrive. And this is a big one. Why? Because oftentimes we ask God for things or whoever you believe in and we are not prepared for where he is sending us because we really thought that it wasn't going to come. And then when it come, you like, oh snap. And that's when fear hits you and you like, you praying, God show me a sign because I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know if this is meant for me. I do it. So I know you don't have to lie. I know you're doing it. So basically like you, are you trying to get your finances in order? You know what you need to be doing. You know you need to hit me up so I can get you on a budget and then you can be manifesting your goals. Your savings account is booming, boom. <laughs> so six, ask for divine guidance. So that is basically your soul or higher self can see beyond what your physical self and rational mind can see. Cause like I said, you have to pray. You have to, you have to talk to whoever you believe in to get you to the next level. If you are praying for something, you have to really mean and be ready for when that moment comes. Seven, let go of unattached attachment to outcomes. Didn't I just say this previously? Previously, it You have to let go of things that are not aligned in your purpose. Like I said, maybe you want a job, maybe you wanted, maybe you wanted to do a new field, but it wasn't meant for you. Sometimes things don't align in our purpose and we have to realize that if it is not, it's okay to fail. Failure is lessons that you need to learn in order to get to where you are trying to manifest and go. You got to go through the trenches, boo boo, to get to the beautiful beach, you know, sipping on your Mai Tai and all that. It's life. It happens even to the best of us. Seriously. I'm not perfect. I came from the hood. I'm, I've come a long way. Number eight, follow your intuition. This is a biggie too, because oftentimes things, like I've said, won't align to where you are trying to go and our gut will point, point out for us, but 
again we're talking ourselves into these things because we think this is what is supposed to happen that's why it's so good when things don't align you don't stick on to the outcome of it so because when you when you are trying to manifest your dreams you have to meet the universe halfway this is like something that sorry guys that you have to do it's you're trying to move towards wherever you are trying to go so you have to follow your intuition you have to let go of fear you have to let go of being a scaredy cat girl i know it's hard but we got to do it. So number nine feel good now so what does that mean instead of putting your happiness and where you're trying to go feel good now in this moment appreciate what you have going on right now yeah your job may, may suck yeah, your household may suck, but guess what? You gotta find that gratitude in this situation. You gotta understand happiness is not a place. It's not a destination. It's within you. You have to feel good within yourself in order to get where you're manifesting to go. It's life, y'all. It's life. So number 10, live in the present moment. If you were worrying about the past or worrying about what didn't happen, I'm sorry, sis. Sorry, boo you won't get to the next level where you're trying to go because you're still worrying about why you didn't get that job or why that why that situation didn't happen for you. You gotta live right here, you gotta, gotta go. Going this way, we ain't going that way no more. 11, write dreams in your journal. Didn't I just say writing things down are so important? Why? Because you can look back on it and say, oh my God, I didn't did this. This is off my checklist. Boom, I didn't did that. Number 12, celebrate your wins. Every win, whether it's small, or big celebrate it want to know why because if you don't no one else will celebrate it for you you have to come i have come to realize this as a grown woman if you don't manifest your dreams no one's gonna do it for you if you don't visualize where you are trying to go no one else can do it for you why because it is your vision what god has given you to see no one else can see and no one can take away from you whether you still waiting five years for it to happen or 10 whatever vision you have you have to go after it and you have to celebrate each and every win whether you make five dollars this month maybe next week you made ten dollars or maybe however you set in your prices for your packages for your business if you made money off of it it's a blessing take every win with stride 13 use affirmations with feelings you have to feel what is happening and what is where you're trying to go every it's it's like energy. I'm attracted to energy. I'm attracted to great vibes. Negative vibes turn me into someone that I am not, someone that I don't like. So I like writing or I like listening to powerful inspirations because it gets me inspired to take my life to the next level. So whether you are, oh, excuse me, whether you are writing things down and listening to empowerment type of stuff, those things will really help you in your direction of manifesting. Number 14, exercise your imagination. And that is basically you visualizing everything as if you were a kid. Now when we were kids and we would visualize, I wanna be married by such and such. I wanna do this. I'm gonna have a nice mansion. Y'all know we used to play MASH, who we marrying, type of car we gonna have in the house. You gotta go back to when you were a child. It is perfectly fine to have big dreams, boo. Ain't nobody knocking that. But visualize it, dream about it, think about it. It's so important because when you have that imagination going, it allows reality to set in and it allows you to take a hold of your life. 15, find ways to live your dreams today. This could be anything. So maybe your dream is to find love, <clears throat> Take yourself on a solo date. If you have a dream of being financially abundant, whatever small thing that it is, do it. If you wanna travel, go travel to another state, but on a budget. You have to live in the now as well because it's so important for you to get inspired different ways and it will allow you to manifest everything that you are trying to do. You have to manifest your desires. You have to manifest things that you want to do because if you don't, someone else will be moving on in their direction of life and you'll still be stuck because you are so afraid to manifest your dreams. You're so afraid to live a life of full abundance and it's okay to want nice things. It's okay to want to travel. It's okay to want to find love. Whatever you are trying to manifest, that's okay, but you have to put actions into it and you have to give out 
great energy in order to receive the beautiful things of your life. And that's pretty much it, guys. I know that was a lot, but I really wanted to get you guys going on your manifestation because oftentimes people are so worried about what everyone else is doing that we're not taking our life into our own hands. And if we wait for people, it will never get done. You have to do it. You have to grab life by the hand and go for it. So guys, I really hope you like this video. I will be doing another video. Um, not really sure yet, but it will be something inspirational, of course. <laughs> so until the next video, guys, I will see you. And don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to share this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you are a newbie. Welcome to the fam. Ah, the life that we are living. It's almost 2019. Oh my God, this year flew. And my birthday's coming. So I will see you guys.